What is I to the power 25,678? Well, it doesn't matter that we have this random, really large exponent here. We evaluate powers of I raised to any positive or negative integer exponent the same way in all cases. We use the fact that we have this pattern, I to the first is equal to I, I squared by definition is equal to negative one, I cubed is equal to I squared times I, which is negative I, and I to the fourth is equal to I squared times I squared. So negative one times negative one is equal to one. And this pattern repeats over and over again as you continue to count up integer values all the way to infinity. And what we mainly take advantage of is the fact that if the exponent is divisible by four, then I to that power is going to be equal to one. So with that, all we need to do is divide this exponent by four and see what the remainder is. So six times four is 24. Four times four is 16. Four times one is four. Nine times four is 36. So the remainder is two. What that tells us is that we can write this as I to the 25,676 power times I squared. Right, this equality holds. Complex numbers, imaginary numbers, obey properties of, of numbers in general, including these exponent properties. Okay, but we did this because we know that because of this remainder of two, we know that 25,676 is divisible by four. That means that this is equal to one. And we're left with just I squared, which is equal to negative one. So I to the power 25,678 is equal to negative one.